Line brushing is the single most important piece of the puzzle when it comes to keeping your dog mat free. And also, if your dog sheds, it's the most effective way to de-shed them. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Alana, and I have been a dog groomer for 15 years, so I am going to help you learn how to line brush and how to do it properly. So let's talk about what it is before I jump into a tutorial that will show you the rope so you know exactly what to do and how to accomplish this at home. So line brushing, could it be as simple as it sounds? Just brushing in a line. And the answer to that is yes and no. It is in fact brushing in a line, but it also involves working your way from the bottom to the top in sections so that you keep all your work orderly so that you're assured that the whole dog is getting done. And it helps make sure that you get right down to the skin, which is one of the most important parts of the process. The tools that you will need are going to vary and it's just because there are different dogs with different coat types and they all require different tools. But generally speaking, if you have a dog who requires a haircut like Maltese, Shih Tzus, Poodles, etc., or if you have long hair shedders like Malamutes, Bernese Mountain Dogs, Collies, those kind of things, then you're going to need two tools for sure. And those two tools are a slicker brush and a comb a fine tooth comb, that's important. And you're gonna use them in this order. You're gonna go in with the slicker first and then you're gonna go in with your comb in the same section. Now you have options, you can use the slicker brush entirely throughout the coat and then go in with the comb, but I like to use the slicker brush in the section I worked on, then grab my comb and check that section to be sure. I don't like to lose my place and I feel like if I do one all the way through and then do the other all the way through. I might just miss a spot, so I would rather just do them both together. Now here's another tip. If the comb doesn't go through after you've used the slicker brush, then you need to go back in with your slicker brush. The comb is not for taking out any tangles, it's just for checking your work. If you can get a fine tooth comb through that coat, the dog is either de-shedded or has no mats, and that is important. So once you've worked your way through the section with the slicker brush and gone through with the comb and you're not hitting any tangles, then you're ready to move on to your next section. Now the reason why this is pretty important is because if you're not getting down to the skin and you're not getting all the undercoat out, that can lead to impaction with undercoat, which is essentially a lot of it sitting on the skin, which doesn't allow the skin to breathe properly. So it's very important to get that all out. And why it's important for our non-shedding friends is because this just guarantees that your canvas is completely matte free because once you have small tangles and especially ones at the skin, they're more likely to continue to grow and just get into a worse and worse problem and then next thing you know your entire dog is just one big giant mat. So now let's get into the tutorial on how this is done in the real world so you can see exactly what I mean and what to do. So this here is Maple, and Maple is a doodle, and she's a very sweet girl. And I am going to show you how to line brush a big fluffy dog like this, because there is no better way to learn. And Maple's mom here, unfortunately Maple had to get shaved down once because she was matted, but she's been working very, very hard at brushing Maple out every day. She actually followed one of my instructional videos on how to keep your dog mat free and it worked really well for her. So she came in today and she has no tangles. So that's amazing. I will get started on showing you exactly what to do to line brush any sort of dog, but a big fluffy dog today. Okay, we are going to start at the bottom and work our way up. The first thing that you are going to do is you're going to start at the foot and you're going to use your hand to lift up a section of hair. You're going to brush it out with your slicker. I'm using a shorter slicker because the feet are pretty short still. And then you're gonna comb it out and it should comb right through. And just as it says, working up in a line, you're gonna make your next line. Brush it out comb it out. And now I have to do all of this throughout all of Maple because she is getting quite a long haircut today. So I have to make sure that my clippers can go through 
in order for her to achieve that haircut. But it works really well. So, oh, you can put your foot down now, Miss Maple. There we go. So now I'm up at the ankle. I might want to grab my longer pin slicker brush. As you can see, there is a difference, but the foot was not super long. So I can get in a little bit better now with my longer brush. Same thing, holding up a layer. You can make a layer with your comb if you want. It doesn't matter. The idea is that you are working in a line thoroughly all the way up. And that way it ensures, so you can see here, you're getting right down to the skin because sometimes tangles like to lie just on the skin. So the, the top part here will be brushed out, but right at the skin, you might find matting. And so if they have matting at the skin, that is when your haircut needs to be short because the skin is where the clippers have to go through. She's in really good shape. So I even work my way up, see how I'm lifting and I just keep lifting and going up as I go. I do find that pretty easy. But essentially, you will work your way up the entire dog. So as you can see there, there is your line and then you're going to brush, you're going to comb, line, brush, comb, next line, brush, comb. So it's a heck of a lot easier to keep track of where you've been, what you've brushed when you're working in a line. And see how I'm using my arm to hold this hair up? So let me get you in a little closer here. So as you can see, I am using my arm to make that line. And that's just so I can work in a bigger section. Because now I'm gonna brush all the way across here and then I'm going to comb it down. And that just makes it a lot easier if you're working on a bigger dog, obviously like a smaller dog, let's say like a Maltese or something, like you, you don't need your whole arm because that's probably the entire dog length. But for her, she's a really big gal. So this just helps me work faster. So it's the same in the front here. You're going to pick a section, brush it thoroughly, and get in with your comb. But the idea is you want to see the skin. And you want to work your way all the way through each section of the dog. And when you're combed, so as you can see, I am combing and nothing is getting caught. That is how you know that your dog is tangle free. This is only one crucial step in ensuring your dog stays mat free. Now, the other side of the coin is that you wanna know where to focus your efforts and for how long. Those are also important factors. And I go over all of that in this video right here. And this is the video that I actually talked about when I was grooming the dog Maple in the tutorial. And that is the plan that she adheres to as well. And it works great for her. Bye. 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 Bye.